Hi, I'm back. So today, I'm going to be talking about the new results from Atlas at the LHC. I know this is kind of old news, but I was gone, and this is the first chance I got to make a video about it. So for a general overview on Atlas, you can see we got the home page up here. It's one of the four main detectors that is built at the LHC, which is the world's highest energy particle accelerator. So you probably already knew that. If you didn't, um, now you know. So for the news, it's the Atlas homepage, as I've said. As a silo, a side note, you might be wondering what the .ch is about. Um, it's Switzerland. I know it's kind of weird, but Switzerland is CH. And so, as you can see right here at the top, it says news. So, latest news. In fact, so this is the BBC. Um, so, as you can see, this is the BBC. And uh, as being the BBC, this article is a bit uh, sli slightly dumbed down. Although do they do do a really good job of, uh, you know, explaining it without really getting anything wrong. So they say Atlas has picked up some uh, little fluctuations, which these little fluctuations often happen in particle physics, and. Um, they think these fight, uh, these Higgs bosons, sorry, these fluctuations might be Higgs bosons, the champagne bottle boson. Haha, <laughs> suck it, mainstream media. A kid just used the correct terminology. And you don't. All right, I didn't actually say that. Um, that's just your brain. Okay, it is your brain. Uh, so as we all know in particle physics, these uh, fluctuations, I'll show you the actual fluctuations later, they happen often and rarely result in anything notable but this is still a hope for the standard model that uh, one of these fluctuations is a Higgs. So, along with the fluctuations, Atlas has ruled out, so as you can see here, the fluctuations, um, you can go to the Atlas homepage if you want to read the full article for yourself. Uh, along with these fluctuations, Atlas has ruled out more of the mass range where the Higgs could be hiding. So for a little background, physicists know that Higgs must be between 100 Jev and 600 Jev, Jev being giga electron volts. That is the mass range. So Atlas has just shrunk that mass range to 100 to 150 Jev and 295 to 450 Jev. Um, so uh, let's let's um, get into a bit more detail about that somewhere. So um, actually later, because you will actually see the real actual data later, whereas the BBC just tells you. So, keep in mind that before the mass range wasn't actually 100 to 600 Jev, there were sections in the middle that physicists knew that the Higgs couldn't be in. You can check Wikipedia. Um, in fact, I might make a, another video on the Higgs mass range. But back to these fluctuations. These are probably, the fluctuations are our biggest hope for the Higgs boson. Um, but as I'd say as meaning more is the excluding the mass range actually means a lot more because the fluctuations more than likely won't lead to anything. They're not the Higgs, more than likely. We can hope, but more than likely they're not. They probably aren't. If the um, ruling out the mass range is something completely definite, we know that it won't be there. So that's just another piece to add to the puzzle um, for you to think about. Anyway, the fluctuations. The biggest one is 145 Jev. It's, that's generally where most people think it will be, is at the lower end of the spectrum. Um, and it's above a two sigma level of certainty. I know that sounds funny, but a five sigma level is required to make a discovery. So one sigma being about one in one, um, a three sigma, sorry, there's about a one in 1,000 chance that the result is incorrect. Um, basically, it's, it's just a quirk. Five sigma, which is the level required for discovery, is a one in one million chance that the bump is just a fluke and that's what they require particle physics as a whole requires for a actual discovery so hopefully that makes sense to you the lower the sigma the more the larger the chance is that this uh, bump is just a, a statistical fluke anyway the other one is at 250 Jeff it's a two sigma level of certainty um, keep in mind the other one is above a two sigma level of certainty so 250 Jev is a bit higher in the mass range. Less people think it will be there, but it's, um, and it is a smaller bump, but, you know, it's still there. It's something to think about.
So hopefully one of these is the Higgs, we're not sure. In case you wonder, these bumps ruling out all this data is coming from around 70 million million collisions, one inverse femtobarn. Um, a barn is a unit of area used in particle physics. As you can see up here, it's um, a femtobarn is a million millionth of a barn, and the inverse femtobarn is the measure of how many particles have smashed into one another in area equal to one um, femtobarn and 10 inverse femtobarns. That is a lot. Uh, it's about 70 million million collisions. So let's go back to the Atlas homepage and let's get some of this uh, real data. You know, no, none of this um, dumbed down BBC people talking to you. Let's get the actual real raw hard, I assume raw hard, averages, averages of the data. Okay. So, this is it. Okay? So, as you can see, it's, you know, don't worry, it, it's not too bad. So this uh, curvy black dashed line right here, and this one that my mouse is following, it's the predicted sensitivity of Atlas to the pigs. To make it simpler, this is um, assuming that every model that they've ever made about the Higgs that they've contributed to this graph is correct, okay? So, the black solid line is the actual sensitivity, so this line here, okay? This is the actual sensitivity, the actual data that they've collected. So, this is the data of the 70 million million collisions. Where if the sensitivity of Atlas to the Higgs drops below this line right here marking a 1, you can assume that there probably isn't a Higgs, more than likely. So we can pretty much assume the Higgs doesn't exist if it goes below this black line. So you see right here we have the big, you know, dip. This is where the Higgs couldn't be is in this dip. Can't be here as well, plus other um, people that exclude the dip. In case you're wondering about the um, the bump, this large bump, this is it, I assume. So this is, um, you see it's slightly above, the yellow means two sigma, and it's slightly above the two sigma level. So the other one, as you can see right here, just barely, I think, peaking above the one line. I'm not sure if it actually gets above, but it is quite a bump, and you see they expect there to be a inverse bump, an upside down bump, a, a gorge if you will, and instead there's a mountain. Um, even if it doesn't come quite above the one line, I think that is still you know, quite opposite of what's predicted, and they physicists think so as well. But um, that bump probably isn't it. I think the smaller bump, you can see some smaller bumps here, but this is the main one that um, everybody's talking about, the one at about, let's see, 250 Jev. So, this is their bump. Yep, that's right. The, disco the um, possible discovery of Higgs boson is just a small bump. <laughs> but still, that bump is our hope. So, Anyway, I think this is a huge step uh, closer to finding the Higgs boson because we now know where it can't be. We now know where it might be, thanks to these two bumps that we found. Um, yeah, so thank you, Atlas, CERN, LHC, um, the whole world, really, for helping in particle physics. I hope this helped you to understand uh, the Higgs boson and the search for it. Um, I guess to go over into a brief overview, at the end, um, Atlas has ruled out where the Higgs could be. It can't be between here and here. It can't be between here and here. And it can't be between wherever the other places it can't be. You can check Wikipedia for that. Um, there's basically one large bump here. This is where it might be. Um, more data. Basically, what they need... In case you're wondering if this actually is the Higgs, assuming it is, when they collect more data, they will still have this bump. It won't go away. 
it'll go to three sigma, four sigma, and finally when it's five sigma, then they'll be pretty sure that since that bump has always stayed there, no matter what they've done, that they're actually producing Higgs. And then we will have the Higgs boson, and we can all say, woohoo, the Higgs exist. So, yep, that is it. That is all the new particle physics news. Not really, there's plenty more from Atlas. This is just the main Higgs boson news. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go to the website, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, yeah, if you want to comment but don't have a YouTube account, you can go to the website and all you need to put in is your email. And you can comment on the website without an account. Um, also, remember there's a blog on my website which is completely different from these videos. Uh, it's still explaining particle physics and electronics but on completely different topics. So it's almost like a separate thing, but still by me. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you understand the Higgs.